Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Friday afternoon. Yeah, strange place to start a vlog in the pub car park, but uh, why not? Yeah, this is the Ginn in Ginn Square, North Shore Blackpool. But yeah, I'm just going to have a wander around, head towards the front and walk along the front. I don't know what the wind is going to be like, but we'll, we'll, get, we'll find out anyway when we get there. So um, I hope you're all doing well and you're going to have a good weekend. Um, I will move on from this spot by the way, but uh, just to say I had to put some music on that pier vlog in St Anne's because it was such a beautiful view that you'd have just got fed up with what I heard, the noise was horrendous and I know a lot of you don't like music and you like the natural sound of the wind but every now and again I'm just going to pop some music on when I think the view is just worth watching rather than somebody skipping through so that's all i've got to say on that matter anyway it's um a lovely blue skies here in blackpool and uh yes let's move on show you this briefly in here we're still at the side of this pub the Ginn, but uh we've got Ginn gardens here now i used to come down here all the time with my kids but i think a lot of it's overgrowing now but let's just show you briefly what it's about in this little park. I don't want to bore you too much with this sort of stuff, so let's get down in the open and just show you it. It's just the Voy Hotel over there in the background. Just to show you different things in different spots, it's not for everybody. But, uh, yeah. This is what you call Gin, Gin um, Gardens on Gin Square. Little children's play area there. Never gets used much, I don't think. See dog walkers. But it's looked after in here, it's changed a little bit from when I used to rattle around here with my um, children. But again, you're not far from the front. And if you want a bit of a picnic, you can even have a picnic on here as well. Right, it's just a brief look there at Ginn Gardens. Something different all the time. Yeah, so we've just crossed the road now. Yeah, there's a couple of um, B&Bs here. What a quiet location, isn't it? Yeah, and the other side of the gardens, you've got this little area here as well. And then you've got the Ginn pub over there, which does folk. You've got a family room, so if you're out walking about, into the area, just some different areas to show you, really. Yeah, that's just heading north, out of town, but we're not walking up that way today. We're going to walk south, just along the seafront, just a short walk. And this is Jubilee Gardens when you cross the road. You see, there is some nice places to sit in Blackpool. Oh, God. The sun's beautiful over there. Yeah, this is Jubilee Gardens. I know you've all seen it before, possibly, but... We've still got new subscribers coming on. They want to see different parts of Blackpool. And this is what you get. This is what you get. Look at this. Seven 
15 miles away. And this is a five minute tram right away from the centre of Blackpool. I'm actually up this way because I've been to the doctors today for my MOT so here's the reason why I've dropped down in this particular area just to do a, a small walk with you some work going on still in this place not sure if it's going to be a nursing home or another hotel because there are a few down here which are nursing homes yeah across the road there you've got the grand hotel part of the britannia group formerly a hilton for many years he started his life out in 1983 as a pembroke hotel a very at market hotel at the time but yeah and of course to the left of me as most of you know was what we called the Derby Baths which was a salt water baths that was opened in 1936 fabulous building and that was on the grounds there but it all came to a standstill through opening the St Castle Water Park and I think it had a lot to do with health and safety. You know, the old days, I have mentioned this before, the old concrete diving boards. They're just a man with a whistle if you've done something silly. I mean, I, I obviously wasn't around here. I've only been in Blackpool 21 years. But yeah, I remember it down south. few people have mentioned to me about parking and free parking in Blackpool and some cheeky spots well there are a few but this area here that road in front of me is called Wally Road you can park in that street and the street behind this hotel you can just in front of me is another road where you can see a car coming down it's called Derby Road now you can get parked in there now it's obviously subject to space availability and I know that people who stay in this hotel have to pay something like £12 for 24 hours and the car park is open to non-residents but please remember to pay on your way out otherwise the camera will get you but a lot of people don't want to pay the money to pay in that car park so they park in these side streets again it's subject to space but if you are looking for some free parking space that might help you a little bit anyway or somebody else 
I won't overdo the sea views, but I'll just give you one final shot of what I see here in Blackpool on Friday afternoon. I'm battling with the wind again here, so I do hope you can hear me. Yes, the Imperial Hotel there has had many, many celebrities over the years stay there and royalty. And it's so old that Charles Dickens first stayed in this many, many years ago. So, yeah, a lot of famous names. And, oh, so forth. So yeah, just coming back to yesterday's vlog, there was one when I was on the beach right down by the seafront and uh, I was giving you 360 degrees after and uh, I listened back to it and it was a lot of what I was talking and I wasn't happy with it so it's not going out so where I said this is the second video again. Park House. That is the uh, hotel that I was talking about yesterday, about the Wood House further down past Central Pier, past the Manchester pub. That way there was the Wood House Hotel. There's a few small BBs here. Yeah, that's the uh, Best Western Carlton Hotel there. And then you've got the Claremont, very popular hotel. And some chavs debating whether to get on the bus or not, tram or not. you sorry again but I love the views yeah the Claremont Hotel and Tiffany's so I hope you enjoyed this short video just something different I'll try to mix and match I do understand that some content I do is not of interest to some and other content I do like round the town watching people enjoying themselves is better content but I will continue to mix and match and if you have recently joined the channel don't forget I do have playlists as well so uh, there's plenty to catch up on if you get a little bit bored or you want to see some more of my content but once again thank you all for watching you lovely people and I will catch you all again very soon over the weekend. Bye bye for now.